Good morning, everyone. I'm Pastor Jimmy Pickett, and the verse I want to read to you today is in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. And this is, uh, and it says, And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee. I want to stop right there. Do you know what grace is? It's unmerited favor, meaning we didn't deserve it. But while we were yet sinners, Jesus Christ died on that cross so that we may have forgiveness of sins, even though we did not do anything to earn it. Then it says, for therefore my strength is made perfect in weakness. Folks, when you don't think you could go any further and you've done all that you can do and you're exasperated and you're down and you don't feel like that you can get back up, do you understand what that verse is saying right there? When you are at your weakness is when Jesus Christ will be at his strongest. He will be there to give you a hand up. He will be there to lift you up. He's there to forgive you of your sins, folks. He is there with us night and day, every single day, especially to those who love him enough to spend time with him. And then it says, Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon these. And this is Paul talking. I mean, you know, Paul was stoned. Paul was beaten. Paul was imprisoned. Uh, folks, and for what? For bringing forth the ho holy word of God. And he says that most gladly, therefore, I would rather glorify in my infirmities. In other words, he's continued to glorify God and continued to glorify Jesus Christ in the Holy Spirit, even when he was in prison all the way up to his death. Why? Because he knew that he had the victory. Folks, nothing that we go through today, trials and tribulations, uh, the loss of a life of a loved one, uh, sickness or health, folks, it doesn't matter what it is. Nothing that we go through today is, a, is anything in comparison to the glory and to everlasting life in the kingdom of God. Can I get an amen? Amen. Folks, if this has edified you today, hit your share button. Hit your share button. God's children are starving to death today for the word of God and peace and hope. Folks, we are now brought to you by your tithes and offering. Hey, if we've helped you, help us continue to come to you. Would you do that? Uh, me and my wife want to give a shout out to each and every person that's following our ministry page. Hey, we love you and your family so very much. And we're praying for you and your families each and every day. Hey, God bless you. Thank you so much for spending this time with me in the Holy Word of God.